Hey y'all, what is up? Long time, no video. It's been, I'm not really even sure how long it's been since I posted a video, but it's been quite a while. I have been enjoying not posting videos, I won't lie. Uh, I've missed talking to all of you, I won't lie about that either. But uh, I've, I've been enjoying just like doing life and not oversharing and I haven't really been on Instagram for those of you that follow me over there and I've been really enjoying my first year of teaching. There's been some trials, there's been some hardships, there's been some days where I want to quit but I am actually enjoying my first Sorry about that odd jump cut. I had to uh, run out to my car and get an accessory for my iPhone because <laughs> mine wasn't working. But anyways, so I've been away for quite a while. Um, I'm still not bringing back plan with me's, but I'm thinking about like flip throughs of finished uh, planners and journals. But I, the reason I am filming today is because Cindy Gertet Baldo posted a video about a no spend 2023. And I was like, you know what? I am going to do that. Like I've done no spend months or like low buy months or whatever, but I really think it's time to get my hobby under control. And we've all said the same thing. I know personally I have said it quite a bit, but I think it's time for like some crackdown basically. So. Cindy called it like a hashtag no buy 2023 or something like that. I'm literally just gonna follow her lead. I'm gonna do the exact same thing that she's doing. I'm gonna post monthly accountability videos. And she she said, I'll be your accountability buddy or something like that. And I was like, oh my God, I love that. So for anybody that is here because they're like, yep, I wanna do that too. I will be your accountability buddy as Cindy Gertet Baldo says. So. I have some notes in front of me, so if you see me looking down, that is why I just wrote some notes in a page in my Hobonichi Cousin that I hadn't journaled in. So for my buy, I, my, my buy, for my no buy year, I'm focusing on three areas of my life that I kind of would say that are like collections or hobbies. And those three areas are stationary, obviously, huge hobby of mine. <laughs> Uh, scents and crystals and I'm gonna talk about all of those like individually and what's included in those and what isn't included in those like I have one one I think I only have one like exception to the rule let's get into this so I sat down I talked to my husband and I said do you think I could do a no buy year and he he's not into the planner world so well like he's in it but like through me right so he had said can you explain that to me so I explained it to him like I cannot buy from like certain things that I'm trying to get under control and I we came up with the categories like kind of together I was like a stationary obviously it said scents and crystals so let's start with stationary let's talk about stationary in this grouping I'm including no planners no notebooks no washi no stickers I put no digitals but I may come to regret that I have a lot of digitals but sometimes I just like that create that creative part of planning and here we go I've already tried to like bargain my no buy okay sorry digitals and pens and markers so any of those things I really am trying to declutter and pare down my stationary items that I use because I'm coming to learn that not it's not very much of them I've actually went through all my washi I've rolled the ones I wanted to keep and I took a sample from the ones that I wanted like a little bit of and I'm gonna be selling it here soon because like my basically my whole collection because I'm learning that I don't like bows so <laughs> anybody on the other side of the screen that is laughing with me knows that we all went simply gilded crazy so 
So no planners, no notebooks, no washi, no stickers, no digitals, no pens, and no markers. I have plenty of all of those things. And you guys know me, if you've been watching me for quite a while, I am a printable girl. I have my own silhouette, specifically so I don't need to buy physical stickers. And I have a backlog of printable stickers from Paper Crown Planner. And I even have like printable stickers from like Plan uh, Planning with K and um, like some different shops, Planner Pixie Co. Like I have a few, but I have a whole, my Google Drive is almost full and it's mostly stickers. And of course I have my own stickers, right? And I can make my own stickers. So it seems kind of silly for me to keep buying and amassing these things. So there's no more. And you guys know me, I'm a planner. Most of you are planners out there, but I have my planners planned out for next year, 2023, because I am an academic girl. So the planner I'm currently using, which I'm gonna talk about goes till June. but. I have 2023 planned out and I have 2024 planned out. So I, I know what I'm using. So I really don't need to buy any planners. I have found what works for me. It's been working for the past seven months. And I kind of know what works for me now and I'm sick of trying. I actually decluttered all of my old journals and planners and like only my half full ones because I want to keep those for memories and there's so much waste I cannot believe so I've kind of taken a step back and thought about my environmental like footprint on the world with with just that just me seems ridiculous so I'm I, I really want to pare it down and I really want to only use what is essential to me no planners no notebooks because my Hobonichi cousin that I am in, you guys know that I kind of tweaked it, so it's an academic year. I started it in July. I did go back and back plan July, and I started it like the last week of July, so I back planned like three weeks, which allowed me to experiment, and I really liked, uh, but it'll go till June. So in my monthlies, I had to redate one month because I got a, uh, a spring start, so I had to redate June. In my dailies, I'll have to redate a little bit more, but it's as simple as putting washi date covers over or like all of the date covers that I have from my Simply Gilded kits that I only used one set of date covers with, right? So I'm using up these stickers that I haven't used for years and years and years. It's probably been two, almost three years since I've gotten a Simply Gilded kit. So redating that. So this will take me right until June. And then, and I, I didn't show you guys because it's large and in charge. I have it in my leather, leather cover that I made. Isn't it cute? But it is, uh, here's my head. It's, it's large. I have it sitting in front of me with my notes, but. So that'll take me till June. This will take me July, 2023 until May of 2024. And this will take me the rest of 2024. So I really am using up these notebooks that I have lying around. And I'm actually setting this one up with my kids right now at school because I had a couple kids ask me if I could start a bullet journaling club. And I think this was the beginning of this no buy for me. Like obviously Cindy's video was the beginning too, but my kids asked me to start this bullet journaling club because I had showed them, I, I put a long-term collections journal in, the, in here, which is basically like the things I buy at Costco and all of my swatches and what else do I have in here? I like, I like just set this up. Favorite meals, I have my savings in here. I have all of my birthdays. Like I needed a centralized place. I also keep an alphabetized list of all the yoga with Adrian's I've been doing and if I liked them and what was in them because I tend to like rewatch videos and I forget what's in them. And I also have my notes for The Joy of Less. A minimalist living guide which is the book that I'm reading right now on like how to declutter how to go about that and I've also decided all of the things that I want to do in the future all of these items that I have stamps and stickers and washi and things I want a place to put that all so I don't forget about it because I end up forgetting about my stuff because I have so much of it with that being said, I have planners until the end of 2024. I'm setting up a bullet journal with my kids. With that, I went down and I went through my planners and I picked out all my bullet journals and there was only three of them that I used to completion that I could bring in and show my kids. 
there was probably actually seven notebooks, but there was only three of them that I could actually show them how, how I used a bullet journal. And that was my uh, last year of my Bachelor of Arts in university, which I loved that book. Um, the one from, I think it was 2020. And then maybe not 20, maybe it was 2021, 2019 and 2021. Like I had like used it. And then the one that I used this summer and I had brought them in to show them and I was flipping through them by myself later and I got so inspired and I love a bullet journal and that seems to be the place that I keep going back to. And I love my Hobonichi cousin. This has turned into a video of just me talking about my planners, but I need to update you guys. I love my Hobonichi cousin. But one thing that I'm noticing is that I have my journaling in it, which is what I wanted. I wanted it all in one book, but I don't want to take it anywhere with me. I don't want to take it to school, which sometimes I need it at school. Sometimes I just need my schedule in front of me, but I don't want to take it to school because I'm a middle school teacher and middle schoolers are nosy and my middle schoolers are extra super nosy. And I've come home with more than one item marked up with pen, my items. And this is a beautiful leather cover. And I don't know if I just don't set boundaries around my stuff, maybe it's my fault, um, but this is just an item that I wouldn't want them to go through because it's my personal thoughts and my personal ranting and me getting a bad day out on paper, but it's also a beautiful leather cover and I love this notebook. And if I opened it up and I found it scribbled through, which I have found my notebooks and my cups with pen on them. So that being said, I love my, I really do. I really am liking my job and I love being a middle school teacher. That has nothing to do with being a middle school teacher, but <clears throat> I don't want to bring my personal journal and a book that I really love to a place that it could potentially get wrecked. So, and, and I wouldn't want this to get wrecked either, but at least it doesn't have my personal thoughts in it. So if it got drawn on, I would be upset, but it wouldn't get me in, not get me in trouble, but it wouldn't be a student able to see my personal thoughts. Okay. So that being said, stationery. I'm not buying any stationery. I actually have a drawer full of pens, specifically like gel markers, cause, or not gel markers, gel pens, because I'm getting like back into gel pens. And I really like that on the bullet journal paper, which is the, 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 the black one is that thick paper. It's a notebook therapy. So it's like 160 GSM, which I've never used. Excited about that. And the other one I think is like 100 GSM. So I've been using a gel pen and enjoying it, but I have a whole Draw, like you know those organizers I have a whole thing full of gel pens that I'm just gonna work my way through and then I'll eventually work my way through my Hobonichi refillable pens so no pens I have so many markers I have the Crayola super tips I have all of the Aaron Condren markers I have a bunch of Tombos all the colors I like what else did I, and I have a and I have my all my mild liners so I need no markers I have a backlog of digitals I've talked about that I'm using up my stickers and I'm using up my washi and I'm using up my notebooks like this notebook that I'm setting up with my kids and my bullet journal club has a month in it has like a random August in it but I'm still going to use it and I'm gonna show them how to bullet journal which is really really cool you guys should definitely go and follow me over on Instagram because I'm gonna kind of update on Instagram about this I've had a couple people reach out and be like bullet journal club tell me about this and uh, I'm just trying to get some teachers involved too but it's really cool but yeah, so that is section one. We're not buying any stationery. I am not buying any stationery. Then section two is scents. So in this category, very simple. It is candles, wax for like wax warmers, warmers and oils. Now wax and warmers, I've been very good for the last year. I haven't bought any, but I'm running low and I'm tempted to buy some. I'm just tempted to buy some, but I really, really, really want to work through my collection. When I was 18 or 19, I was roped into becoming a Scentsy consultant. We, we are not a fan of MLMs here, so don't tell me about your MLM, but um, 
I, I, ha I bought a lot of warmers with my free points. I bought a lot of wax. I had a lot of wax, but I also have that stupid sample pack that they make you buy in the starter kit. So it's like 120 cents in little like single use ones. So I'm slowly working my way through those because you can pop them out of a little plastic container and use them. So I've been using those. I've been working through my collection. And then when those are gone, I will just be going to like Walmart and getting scents. But I have enough scents to change the warmers, which right now I've been only changing them once a month. I pr should probably change them once every two weeks because the scent does die down. But I have enough scents to get me through this year, 2023, probably 2024. So no more wax for me. I don't need any more warmers. I have warmers in boxes. I have warmers that I never turn on. I don't need any more warmers. Candles, I am working my way through. So I just bought myself a Twisted Peppermint candle and that is my favorite scent. And I'm not allowed to use it until I use up at least a few more candles. So, so far since I've started this journey of like using it up, using the things that I have, enjoying the things that I have, not just letting them sit in the linen closet, I've actually used up two candles, uh, a, 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 like, a, like a regular size candle and then one of the, the three wick burner. Now it wasn't one from Bath and Body Works, it was from like Charmed Aroma or whatever, but, and then I have this one burning right now, and this is my husband's favorite, and it's a spruce one, it's a, it's a Christmas tree one, and now that we have a fake tree, he, he likes the smell, so have that. And along with scents, I put essential oils in there. I'm actually learning that I am slightly allergic to essential oils, which sounds weird because they're diffused in water, but I actually put my diffuser away. Yeah, I put it away a couple days ago because the last five times that I've put my diffuser on, and I've tried different oils, but the last five or so times that I've put my diffuser on, I've just gotten so congested and so stuffed up and I can't breathe out of my nose. And then I'll turn it off and I'll go to bed and I'll wake up and I'm fine. But it, that seems to be the one thing that gets me. And which is so weird because it's like a a diffused scent in water like it's a it's a diluted scent so i don't know but i put it away just to see candles don't seem to do anything to me which i think it probably should be the opposite there's so much crap in candles but <laughs> that being said candles don't seem to stuff me up so i'm just kind of testing out a theory um and about probably a year ago I actually got rid of half of my oils because my I can't I couldn't um, diffuse them because they hurt dogs so I kept the scents because I don't know why uh, but I never diffuse them because they I found out that essential oils can actually make your dog sick and then like a year ago I was like here you go here take these scents I can't uh, I can't diffuse them with my dog so I actually did pare that down quite a bit and I'm thinking about just getting rid of it completely. We'll see I guess. <laughs> but that is in my no buy. <laughs> All right and then last but not least crystals. So this is a this is a small category but also a large category because the crystal shop down the street from my house and down the street from my school actually sells like a lot of things with crystals. So she, she sells like bath bombs with crystals inside of them and Epsom salts with crystals inside of them and crystal jewelry and the tumble crystals and the large crystals and the crystals that are bowls. So <laughs> I really just am not allowed to go to my favorite crystal shop next year. And that is because I have a very, very large box. I have moved from like a small bowl to a bigger box and now I actually have my uncle had given me and my husband a set of knives and he had given us, it was in a very large wooden box, like a very large wooden box, like a, a little bit larger than legal size paper, very large. And I actually decided to lay all my crystals out in there because they would all be flat instead of stacked on top of each other in the box that they're like, like in the box that they're in now. And I have a lot and I have one kid at school, actually I have two, that ask me to bring in a new crystal a day and I've been bringing in a new crystal a day and we do a little mini lesson on what the crystal is for and and uh, I still haven't gone through them all yet so <laughs> that being said 
no more crystals. I really, really, really need to focus on taking care of the ones that I have, recharging them when they need recharged, paying attention to the moon and the sun cycles, all of those things, and just taking better care of them. When I switch them from the little box to the larger box they were dusty as fuck and they were covered in dog hair because I have a dog um, and I had them on the floor in my closet because that was the easiest spot for me to access them in the morning but uh, time to just appreciate what I have and a huge part of this no buy and my journey now that I've been going on for a few months of probably not like your typical minimalism but decluttering and only keeping things that I use and I value and I enjoy and that bring me joy has been a real eye-opener for me and I really really am just trying to focus on the things that I have and being grateful for the things that I have and keeping things that will last a very long time and buying things that will last a very long time and moving things out of my home that I'm not using or I don't enjoy or that I've never used and never enjoyed and like just very much getting them to a place that will enjoy them more, use them more, all, all of those things and just being very grateful for what I have. I really am in this push now in my life to accomplish some things that I want to. So obviously my husband and I have this beautiful home and we've been here for five years and that is a big push that I made and I'm really thankful I did because if we were to try to buy now, we wouldn't be able to because the housing market where I live in New Brunswick, Canada exploded when we had an influx of people from Ontario, Canada when the pandemic hit because people realized that you could work wherever and a lot of people came to New Brunswick. So super thankful for that. But the other thing that exploded in price was vehicles. And <clears throat> this, you guys might, I might have talked about this before. I really can't remember, but I am the butt of the joke because I am still driving the car that I bought when I was 16 years old and I'm 26. I've been driving the same car for 10 years. I drive a little matte red Sunfire because the clear coat has all peeled off of it. And don't get me wrong, my husband being a mechanic is such a blessing for us. Like, I, I would probably be taking the bus or taxis or having to live in, the, in a city if my husband wasn't a mechanic and able to take care of my 10 year old car. Actually, it's an 18 year old car. It's a 2004. It's an 18 year old car. But we've been very fortunate that he's been able to keep my car running for so long. I've, I've literally been driving it for a decade in April. So kind of cool, but I've had a couple scares in it now that uh, have made me realize that it's really time for me to get into a bigger vehicle. And I, I, he's told me it all, guys. You don't need to tell me. It doesn't matter if it's smaller or bigger. A car is still dangerous, obviously. My peace of mind is very valuable to me. And for me, being in a bigger vehicle gives me just that little bit of peace of mind. And it makes me feel better. And. My feelings are valid to me at least so it's really time for me to like move the fuck on and get a new car <laughs> you know it's a great car but it's really time so I on my notes I put a quote that I saw the other day and I can't remember where I saw it but it said is this item worth setting back my future and for me it truly is a huge part of my future when I pull up to work, they think that I'm a student, <laughs> okay? Like, for real. My friends will not get in my car. <laughs> I don't blame them. But it's time. I'm ready for something bigger. But with COVID, with the, with the prices, with the fact that they couldn't make new cars, used vehicles now are very, very expensive because they're trying to keep up with the new car market. So, uh, and of course, I want a Jeep. I'm your typical girl that wants a Jeep. I want a red one because my Sunfire is red and I think that would be cool. But I'm ready for that next step into my future. <laughs> and for me, the next step is to get my big girl car because right now I'm driving my teenager car, literally. This will be a huge investment for me with this no buy because I will be able to save more. I will be able to check off some of my goals 
and a lot of my goals have to do with paying off debt. Now, my husband and I are very lucky. We don't have student loans, and we don't owe any money on our, car, on our vehicles, which is really nice. But we do have some line of credit debt that we use to fix up our house when we bought our house. So we are very, very close to paying that off. I think June will be our payoff date. And I think June of 2024, I'll actually be able to buy my Jeep because for me, having a huge savings to put down on a new vehicle because I do want something that is less than five years old because I've been driving something from 2004 for a very long time. So it's, you know, it's really important for me. I'd like a few bells and whistles. I have automatic windows in my Sunfire, but not much else. So there's, there's some things. I have some goals and a lot of them are related to finance now. So no spend year, here we go. I made a list of things that I can do instead of buying or instead of window shopping, which is tempting to buy. You, now, usually I will have, if I'm wallowing in self-pity, I will have what I call an add to cart day. And that's where you go to your favorite shop and you add everything to cart, but you never check out. And I'm usually pretty good about not checking out, but there will be that one day that I want to check out. So the I'm going to do monthly videos just like Cindy is going to do to keep me accountable. And you guys can always post below and tell me what you're being accountable for. It doesn't have to be a no buy. If you're being accountable for working out or, or, or eating healthy or drinking water or whatever, let's be accountability, account, accountability buddies <laughs> down below if you'd like, join me. So things to do instead of buy, I'll put this list in the description too if you want to like copy and paste to put in your journal or whatever. So I have yoga. Yoga for me is really important. I love yoga. And I would also add meditation in there now. I didn't used to like meditating, but I'm liking it more and more and more. I don't know if that is just like growth in myself or what it is, but yoga. Go for a walk, take my dog for a walk down back. Go to a, tra actually drive to a trail and go for a walk. Journaling, a lot of the times getting the things that are going on in my brain down on paper gets them out of my brain. And I know that a lot of you can relate to that because being in this stationary world, a, a lot of us function like that. So journaling, getting those feelings out, because for me, a lot of buying is emotional and I've learned that over the years and I know that about myself. So isn't that like the first step to recovery is like knowing you have a problem, go online and look at Jeeps. <laughs> I've been doing this a lot lately, like just hyping myself up, like just going on Pinterest and looking at Jeeps and actually going on the uh, Jeep website and like looking at the Jeeps that they have in the lot and just like, seeing what I want for my future because that is a huge thing for me right now that is a huge part of where I'm going in my life and it's a material thing yes but it's also a thing that I need daily and I would love to feel a little bit safer and I'd like to look a little bit cooler and like a grown-up you know what I mean I'd like to look like a grown-up it probably won't fix the fact that I actually don't look like a grown-up most times. Okay, uh, baking. This is something new for me. I don't like cooking, and most of the time I don't like baking, but there's something about trying a new recipe and then seeing if people like it that is very fulfilling for me. It's bullet journal. Like, literally just opening up a page and trying a spread, even if I won't use it, I'm, I'm going to probably use it, but even if I won't use it, just, like, testing out a spread and seeing what it looks like and then getting excited to show my kids now because I can't believe I have a full bullet journal club at school. That's just so cool. Um, make a caffeine drink because a lot of the times when I'm shopping, it's because I'm low energy and I don't want to do anything else. So make a caffeine drink, go for a walk, go do yoga. All of these things are interconnected. Make a caffeine drink. Notice that I don't say coffee. I don't drink coffee. I drink a caffeine. It's, it's like a pre-workout supplement keeps away the headaches. <laughs> um, color. Coloring is a new thing for me that I like as well. Have a picnic. Pack up a picnic and take my husband out for a picnic. Now, um, I live in Canada. Y'all know this. I live on the east coast of Canada. I live in the Atlantic. It's fucking cold in the winter. We couldn't go for a picnic now, but you know what I could do? I could move this table that I'm sitting at in the middle of my living room 
put down a blanket and set out a picnic. And that is something that I can do for free. I can do at home. I can do very easily. And it's not just for me. It's for my husband as well. Uh, Pinterest. I've been turning to Pinterest a lot lately for inspiration, creative outlet, just like looking at things. Uh, put it on the wish list. So a big thing for me right now is things that I want. If I really want them, I'll put them on a list and I'll think about them. And I'll think about them for like a week. And if I'm still thinking about them after a week, I will like actually like do a price breakdown and see if I have anything similar, see if I can make something similar, you know, like things like that. Like, but think about it, put it on the wish list. think about it for a week, 10 days, two weeks, see if you're still thinking about that item. Declutter. What I've been doing is putting on a declutter video, like finding a good declutter video and going and decluttering at the same time that I'm watching the decluttering video and listening to this person talk about decluttering. It is super motivating. It makes me feel really good when I fill up a box or a bag or a whatever. And I stop thinking about wanting things in my house because it's just another thing that I'm gonna have to think about decluttering. And a huge part of decluttering is getting rid of that buy, buy, buy mentality. And something that's been really useful for me is thinking about how hard will this be to dispose of or to declutter or to donate or to move on when it's time? Or will I keep this forever or close to forever? That's been a huge help for me in my decluttering process. Also asking people not to buy me gifts. You notice my tree in the background, it's Christmas time. We haven't done presents with my parents in about five years and obviously we bought our house, we couldn't afford it and we just kind of stuck with it because my parents and my husband and I actually are at a point in our lives where if we want something, we'll go and buy it. We don't have kids, so we don't feel the need to do presents. Although I will say we go and get our dog a antler or a, a buffalo horn or something for Christmas and we'll put it in her stocking and it's really cute to watch her open it, but like she's our kid, I guess. So yeah, uh, have a bath with some Epsom salts and a nice drink and a candle and my book. Having a bath has been so therapeutic for me lately. I cannot even believe. All right, I said reading already, reading in the bath, but reading not in the bath, just, just reading, doing something else, getting my phone out of my hands because a lot of the time we're online shopping. I'm online shopping. I, I put practice lettering here because I've always wanted to be able to letter very uh, beautifully, like planning with Kay or Cindy or, you know, all of those other people that can do these beautiful lettering spreads in their bullet journal. So practice lettering because that's the only way you get better is practice. Uh, have a dance party. This one is embarrassing, but something I've been doing lately is actually turning on Christmas movie movies, Christmas music and dancing in my kitchen. And it's a mood booster and it gets my mind off of the day or the struggles or whatever so have a dance party make a hot chocolate oh like i said i'm in canada it's fucking cold making a hot chocolate and like sitting down with it you know how they do in the movies and you, you sit down with it and you like get all cozy it truly is a cozy mood booster and add some marshmallows in it sit in the hammock so obviously this is for summertime a huge thing for me in the summer is obviously i'm a teacher i don't uh, work in the summer huge thing for me is getting out in my hammock and just chilling whether that be like watching a youtube video scrolling on pinterest or reading my book just getting outside getting fresh air being in the sun and just chilling in my hammock and my hammock is one of my favorite places to be in the spring I am out there as soon as I possibly can a lot of the times with a lot of blankets so chill in my hammock watch a decluttering cleaning video I talked about this usually I will watch a decluttering or cleaning video when I'm decluttering and it's super motivating so but even just watching them sometimes is good I find for my mental health and for my thinking because you watch some of these videos and these people are amazing. They have so much stuff and they go through it. And obviously a video is magic. 
and they go through it so quickly and it's just it's so it's so motivating to get up and to do after you've watched so watch a decluttering video you will not regret it and burn a candle because again I'm trying to work through some of these scents that I don't necessarily love for me a love is twisted peppermint and I will go through that in a day so that's why I'm kind of saving it for myself because it's my favorite but burning a candle and just putting it on and turning the lights down low and maybe closing my eyes and curling up on the couch is so therapeutic for me and I should add make a accountability video because I will be doing these on a monthly basis now will they be very prompt hell no teaching is chaotic and hellish and busy and marking and report cards and all of those things that come with teaching and just being tired just being tired so my videos will not be prompt they will not be on a schedule but I'm going to aim for doing them as close to the end of the month as possible so like on the 30th or 31st or even the first of the next month and they will probably be mostly unedited as this video probably is I'm sure I've edited out a couple stumbles but y'all know me, I like to keep it real, I'm gonna keep it as real as possible, and I just wanna keep myself accountable, and having you guys is really super duper fun, and, and to be honest with you, useful. You guys are gonna keep me accountable, and I know you will have some things to tell me down below, and I've missed talking to you guys so, so, so much, but teaching really has been crazy and great. Mostly crazy, but pretty good pretty good I'm surviving I am surviving I'm not thriving currently but I hoping to do uh, to make some changes in the new year so three areas of my life that I want to one declutter I'm in the process and I will also be posting a bunch of planners for sale hopefully soon keep your eyes out if you're looking for any of those but I'm decluttering these areas of my life and I'm also not adding to them I am using up I'm decluttering and I'm using up because a lot of the things I will still use and we are not buying any of them for the whole year of 2023 and I will be making videos and detailing any items that I do buy I'm hoping I will have 12 videos of I didn't buy but we'll see we'll see and I hope you'll stick around for this and let me be your accountability buddy. I just love saying that. Let me be your accountability buddy because I'm here for you. Follow me over on Instagram. I love, 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 love chatting with you all over on Instagram, even if it's a random message. Hey, how you doing? I will, I will say, hey, how you doing back? Okay. With all of that being said, I'm shit at outros. I'm pretty good at intros. Shit at outros. This is my 2023 no buy year i hope that you will join me for something that you want to be accountable for and let me know down below what you want to be accountable for in 2023 this is my no buy year i'm determined i am i'm in the right set of mind mind set i'm in the right mindset and i'm ready for it and i hope that you'll join me in whatever your goals need you to do to get there. All right. I have enjoyed speaking with you all so much, and I'll see you in about a month. Bye, y'all.